Welcome into Clearfield High School, the site of the Rewind Game of the Week. Dusty Lister with you. Vince Francis running the camera. Bountiful versus Clearfield, our first time coming to Clearfield Girls Basketball, and we picked a great game to do it. The reigning 5A champion, Bountiful basketball team, coming into Clearfield. Believe it or not, both teams 4-0 and on the region season. Clearfield having an outstanding year. It'll open up 11-1 on the year. Bountiful's 10-3. Strength of schedule, a little different for Bountiful. They played some tough teams. They played the reigning 6A champion. Lone Peak is there's a turnover. Traveling violation. Traveling violation. But they played the reigning state champion in 6A in Lone Peak. They also played Ridgeline, who quite possibly is the best team in the state of Utah with, a, with Skinner, who is just terrific. Well, Clearfield comes in with just that one loss. Three on the way in short from Sierra De DeLau. And a rebound. We'll keep it here. Here's Wyaskett. Sends it over for three. And Yarbrough, leading score for the Falcons. Can't get that one to go. Tracks down her own board. Sierra DeLau for three. Off the mark. And another offensive rebound for the Falcons. Yarbrough sends that ball back out, and it's out of bounds. Multiple opportunities and couldn't get it to drop. Clearfield led by Coach J.T. Soder. Up now. Oh, yep. There's, there's Harvey up top, and Harvey is fouled. The foul goes... On Amber Denkwa, her first team first. They mound into Isabel Isabel Hoff. Hoff outside with Mal Malika Satawala. And then we'll have a charging foul, an offensive foul on May Johnson. So Zaya Yarbrough, the leading scorer thus far in the year for the Falcons, averaging 11 points per game. She and Isabel Wyaskett, well, the only two that average double digits. This is a team effort as Harvey gets the block. The future Texas Longhorn with the block. Harvey, her sister Jordan, was on the state championship team last year playing volleyball at Stanford. That short shot is short, Isabel Huff. But Harvey will be taking her talents to the national champion, Texas Longhorns. And there's a steal. Isabel Hoff with the steal. And there's Satawala. Couldn't get free. Sends that ball up top. Straight away three is good. And Bountiful gets on the board first. Is that as Malia Nelson? Of course, Malika Satawala is the younger sister of Falatau Satawala. Is on the drive and drawing the foul is Isabel Wyaskett. The foul goes on Hoff. And Malika really was a spark plug to that state championship run last year for, for Bountiful. And that is an athletic family. You have an older brother that played football at Weber State, a sister that's playing volleyball at the University of Utah. Falatau, as you know, committed to play at BYU as an Army All American. He's at the Hawaii. The Polynesian Bowl this week in Hawaii. A four-star recruit, an absolute stud. So great bloodlines there for Malika Satawala. As that shot won't, the free throw doesn't go. Satawala out of bounds. And the ball goes back to Clearfield. That clock on your screen's unofficial. It's 546 left in the quarter. We'll get it synced up here momentarily. Inbound for three. The shot won't drop as Clearfield's had chances. Cannot get him to go. And a foul on the rebound. Going to be called on. Emery Scholler picks up that foul. So back down the floor with Bountiful. And 
A loose ball, tracked down in the corner. Sotawala comes away with it. Good hands by Wyaskit. And now the foul going to be called on Yarbrough. Good defense there from Clearfield. So Zaya picks up the foul. Try to get that quickly inbound into Harvey, and it's stolen. It's Yarbrough. Zaya lost her footing. Santawala tried to track that down, went off of Yarbrough, and it will be. It'll be Bountiful Basketball. Apologize, we're having some misfiring on our system. That's why I would tell you that that clock is unofficial. So back down the floor with the Red Hawks. Adelaide Stevenson up top, get a handoff to Nelson, who has the lone points today. Fires for three, and she's got all six points. Timeout, Clearfield. Two threes from Malia Nelson. And that's Battleful six, Clearfield zero. You're watching. KSL Sports Rewind Game of the Week. And welcome back into Clearfield High School. Dusty Litzer and Vince Francis with you. We'll be doing our video this week from Clearfield. The boys game be coming up next. Very rarely is it that uh, we come for the girls game only. I think last year the only time we did that is West games because we were doing all the West stuff for the West Panthers last year. So... Back up the floor with the Clearfield Falcons looking for the first points today. Outside of Yarbrough. Yarbrough drives on Sotowala, got inside and got it. Nice drive and finish there by Yarbrough. Zaya with the first points for the Falcons. Stevenson back rims the three in the rebound. Claimed by Donkwa. Donkwa, that pass kind of was off the mark there to Wyaskut. Loose ball foul on Clearfield will be the fourth team foul. So it'll be free throws for the final 424 of the quarter. Checking in is Julia Smith. As Hoffel inbound into Harvey, she'll jump it from the junction and hit it. Taylor Harvey. Come back the other way. Try to send it out to Yarbrough, and we got a kick ball on Sotawala. Wyas get to inbound. Gets it into Donkwa. Send that ball back out. Smith thought about three, wouldn't pull. Donqua on the drive, left it short, rebound to Harvey. Harvey sits up on the corner. Stevenson sends it back out to Hoff for three. No, rebound to Stevenson on the backside. Nelson couldn't get free, sends it back to Stevenson, and she knocks down the triple. And it's an 11-2 start for Bountiful. Wyaskit trying to get that ball to Smith, taken away by Harvey. Here comes Satawala. Malika, oh, got right past everybody. And Malika Satawala lays it in.
Yarbrough. Back out for three. No, and the rebound taken by Nelson. And they're going to have a jump ball. Nice job there. Yarbrough got in there to get the jump ball. Possession arrow will keep it here with Clearfield. The Falcons have had good looks at the rim. They have not been able to get them to go. The only bucket is a drive and finish it by Zaya Yarbrough. Nevea Cordova checks in. Here's Wyaskit. Can't shake Stevenson over to Yarbrough. Satawala there with her. Yarbrough blocked away by Satawala. Loose ball taken by Cordova. 19 on the shot clock. Send that ball back out for three and it won't go for Cordova. Rebound. To Bountiful, Harvey, nice job, got the board, running the floor, and we have another jump ball, and we do. The Bountiful basketball, but it was Mae Johnson. The start of that was going to look to finish it. Nice pass by Harvey. Uh, checking in is Destiny Gomez. Inbound into Nelson. Back rims the three. The rebound taken by Wyaskit. Wyaskit to Cordova. Cordova over to Smith. And reset the offense with Wyaskit. Zaya on the drive. Send it out to Cordova. Now Smith with 10 on the shot clock. Driving blocked away by Johnson. On the run with Harvey. Back to Harvey. Straight away three. No on the rebound. Claimed by Julia Smith. Yarbrough drives at Satawala and is fouled. The first foul on Malika Satawala. Team foul number three of the quarter. First free throw is good. Oops. Accidentally hit our uh, touchdown button there, and they put the wrong points on the wrong side inside the building. It is 13 to three, and now 13 to four. Remember, Dankwa comes back on as Yarbrough will come off the floor. One minute and 33 seconds left in the opening quarter. Anna Larson sends that ball inside to Satawala. No. Rebound to Johnson and one. And the dominating quarter for Bountiful continues on the board and bucket to Mae Johnson. Johnson looking for the three-point play and hits the free throw. Extends the lead to 12. Minute 15 seconds on the running clock. Here's Wyasket. That's Cordova. Terminates on the baseline. Send up top to Smith. Smith on the drive. Back out to Cordova. Destiny Gomez over to Dinkwa. Wyatt, or pardon me, that was Cordova, lost the handle. Picked up by Sotawala, sent it ahead. And the block to Wyeskit. Wyeskit sent it ahead to Dinkwa, got out in front of her. Oh, and a heads up save by Dinkwa. Going to keep the ball with the Falcons. And he's kind of just continued to show where nothing is coming easy for Clearfield. They have worked extremely hard for the They've had to work really hard for the four points they've got as that ball goes off the hands. Gomez got it back to Wyaskit. 
Now Smith going to drive on Johnson. Terminates outside Wyaskett. Now Cordova pulling for three. No. Rebound to Johnson. Inside of 30 seconds left. Shot clock is turned off. We'll catch up at 19 seconds. I don't know my finger missed or if their finger down on the floor missed. Up top was Satawala. Going to take her time to take this down to the final shot of the quarter. Malika with eight over. Trap comes up top. Malika with three seconds. Hoff sends it out for three. And a Larson can't get it to go. But it's a dominating first quarter for Bountiful. It is Bountiful 16, the Clearfield Falcons 4. You're watching a Rewind Game of the Week. Start of the second quarter. We'll start with Clearfield with a tough first quarter for the Falcon offense. Only able to muster up a couple of field goals. But it's been tough. Inside to Smith. Smith jump hook short. Rebound. Chased down by Donko, but she stepped out of bounds. And the ball will go to Bountiful. Full court pressure from Clearfield and trying to get some turnovers. Now it's with Harvey. In the lane, Harvey jump it up and score it. Taylor Harvey. It's her second bucket. Wyaskit to Dankwa. Now Smith put it back on the floor. Smith on the drive and finishes. So Julia Smith with the bucket. You have three different scorers on the board now for the Falcons. Stevenson working on Gomez. Hands off to Anna Larson. Larson to the corner to Hoff. Hoff finds Johnson inside. And Johnson lays that up and in. Bountiful's had terrific, the last 10 years, they have been so good at girls' sports. Now, a lot of that coincides with generational talent. Kennedy Redding was so good on the volleyball court and on the best basketball floors. That show, shot does not go. And he's going to put Smith at the line for two. But between Kennedy Redding, and volleyball and basketball, and then the Harvey sisters, Jordan and Taylor Harvey, and... Not any time, any anytime soon, unless uh, Taylor Harvey reclassifies, which I didn't know was a thing until two years ago when Maggie Mendelson reclassified and did not play a senior year in the state of Utah. Instead, went to Nebraska for her freshman year, where she played volleyball and basketball at the, for the Huskers. That free throw doesn't go. Taylor Harvey quickly back the other way, takes the bump, and then gets a foul on Dankwa. Harvey knocks down the first. Talk about Taylor, committed to, as long as the information I have is correct, I feel pretty confident with it. It was said that, told me last night that she'd committed to go to Texas. The second free throw is good. She'll love living in Austin when that comes up. And that ball is loose, picked up by Harvey. Send that ball to the corner. Three on the way from Hoff. No. Rebound taken by Smith. Here's Jarbro. She and Weiss get. A little mixed up there. Wyas get on the drive. Beautiful spin. Can't finish. Smith tapped that ball out in the hands of Satawala. Here comes Malika. Dankwa is back there. Malika Satawala. 
Puts it up and in. And now a 17-point advantage for Bountiful. Inside, shot won't go for Destiny Gomez. Satawala over to Harvey. Satawala baseline, J is short. And the rebound tipped out, taken by Wyaskit. Wyaskit get up to Yarbrough. Yarbrough can't complete it at the rim as Hoff was there. And now we're going to have a dribbled out of bounds. Trying to save that ball in. It was off the hands. The clear field and go back to Bountiful. Jay the Kearns checks in for Coach Soder. Malika, free throw line jumper, no good contest. That ball goes out of bounds to be clear field basketball. Good contest there from Gomez. So Bailey Hoover comes in. First time in the half she's come into the game. Gomez leaves it for Yarbrough. Yarbrough drives out Harvey. Can't finish the layup of the rebound to Taylor. Now back down the floor with Bountiful. Hoff over to Delson. Can't get the three to go. Sotawala with the rebound is fouled from Malika at the line for two free throws. Talk about Malika last year in the state tournament was just terrific. For Bountiful as a it will go on to win the 5A title. Joel Burton, our reigning 5A coach of the year. And both free throws good by Satawala. Wyasket down the lane, and Wyasket gets to the rim. And a inbound violation on Bountiful. So give the ball back to Clearfield. Can Clearfield take advantage? We talked about it. They don't, the Falcons don't score a ton of points. Only have two players that average double figures. So when you get down like they are now at 17 points, this is a tough hole to climb out of. Oh, blocked by Harvey. Send it to the corner. Wyasket long on the three. Yarbrough tracks it down. Yarbrough in the lane is fouled on the drive. To put her at the line to shoot two is that ball would not drop. So the line goes Zaya Yarbrough. The foul goes to Isabel Hoff. Isabel Hoff. Zaya Yarbrough can't get that first one to go. She has one more. Always fun to come to Clearfield. We don't make it here often. As Yarbrough knocks that down. We'll see Freddie Fernandez joining a new coaching staff here at Clearfield High School. Freddie, the legendary coach, will be the offensive coordinator. As Satawala comes back the other way, no. Yarbrough with the rebound and run out. Yarbrough, nobody home for that pass. That may have been tipped by Bountiful. Baseline jumper is good to Jayla Kearns. And now timeout on the floor. 30-second timeout. We'll be right Welcome back. back to Clearfield High School. I'll we'll give you an update on our streaming schedule this week as we always have a bunch of games. This is our only game tonight on our schedule. And then to, on Friday, we have American Fork and Lone Peak Boys and Girls doubleheader. Lehigh, Cooper Lewis, and the Pioneers go into Sky Ridge to take on Jordan Kohler, who is very, very good. Um, 
at Sky Ridge. And then Syracuse at Davis renewing in a Region 1 rivalry. Brighton at Alta, an old-time rivalry. There's that ball sent to midcourt, picked up by Satawala. And Corner Canyon at Copper Hills, the first time Corner Canyon Copper Hills meeting in region play. Yarborough there with the steal. Oh, five seconds closely guarded. For a second, I thought they were going to call a foul. But I've learned to just stay calm. I feel like the opposite version of George Costanza. I just would never take a job with the New York Yankees. That's a double dribble. Goes by the wayside. Come back quickly the other way. Hoff and Yarbrough get tied up. That's a jump ball. Possession stays with Bountiful. So Sierra De La O checks back in. Always good to hear the home PA to confirm some pronunciations as that shot doesn't go. Rebound taken by Kearns. Here's Jarbro. Crosses over, gets in the lane, goes at Harvey. No. And the rebound to Adelaide Stevenson. Corner three. No. And the rebound taken by Kearns as that shot wouldn't drop for Anna Larson. Wyaskit races back the other way and crawls it in. So Wyaskit now with six points in the first half. Satuala has that one poked away. Here comes Wyaskit as we go inside of two minutes left in the half. Clearfield get on a run. Wyaskit, no rebound to Satuala. Oh, Malika hand got up, maybe got Yarbrough a little bit. Harvey with the offensive rebound goes back up, no, and Kearns comes away with it. Back the other way, De La O oh, lays it up and in. And a little run from the Falcons, make it a 10 point game. 128 left, full time out on the floor. We'll be right back. Obviously. Out of the timeout, one minute, 28 seconds left in the half. The Falcons on a little 6 0 spurt, if I remember right. Hoff. Look on YS Skit. YS Skit staying with her. Hoff lost the handle. Loose ball picked up by Yarbrough. Santuala right there with her. Here comes Zaya. Zaya Yarbrough. Back to De La O. She drives out Harvey and got it. And it's an eight-point game. 55 seconds on a running clock. Stevenson just got that ball to Harvey in a foul. That was just bad timing. All that was was bad timing. Went for the steal. Wasn't a lot there, but by the time she got there, she had her hands on her and a foul called. Just the third team foul of the quarter. Satawala. Stevenson. Now Hoff. Good pressure there by Wyasket. Three on the way from Larson. No, and the rebound to Yarbrough. Shot clock turned off, is on the run as Wyaskett ahead to Kearns. That's off of Kearns. Oh. I thought that ball went off of Kearns. Mr. Official said no. Called it off of Bountiful. Coach Burton's not putting up much of a contest, so I won't either. Inside Yarbrough, blocked away by Satawala. 
And there's 10 seconds left in the half. Malika Satawala across midcourt. Satawala going to look at the rim. Slapped away from behind by Wyaskit. Three seconds left. Lob into Harvey. Nice job by Wyaskit. That girl hustles. It was a 16-point lead for Bountiful most of the second quarter and an 8-0 run for the Falcons to close out the first half. We go to the locker rooms. It's Bountiful 26, Clearfield 18. You're watching. Start of the second half, Dusty Litster with you. The Falcons ended the half on an 8-0 run after being down 16. Come out firing for three. Sierra De La O. And it's a five-point game. Bountiful was dominating this game, and the effort of Clearfield has gotten them back into this thing. That foul down low going to be two free throws to Bountiful. The foul will go to Amory Scholler. And Stevenson at the line to shoot two. And the Stevenson name, very well known through the Bountiful program. We've had a few Stevensons go through. I would like to say younger sister of the four-year point guard for Coach Mike Maxwell, but I've learned over time if it's Nelson, Stevenson, or others, doesn't mean they're all related. And the second good as well. 28-21. High post. Send back out. De La O. Back-to-back threes to open up the second half. And it's a four-point game. Back the other way, Satawala, that is a block. Surprising block, I thought maybe you have a jump ball. The foul is charged to Sierra De La O. Uh, nobody's covering Nelson as <laughs> Wyatt's get her and ran over. Can inbound in to Harvey. No, Yarbrough got her hand on that, out to Stevenson. Satawala along the baseline, send it out to Harvey. Stevenson straight away, now to the corner. Got it back, Satawala inside. Malika, no, and we'll have an off, or probably, yeah, a loose ball foul on May Johnson. And Clearfield can cut it to two, potentially one with another three. And a big thing for them is not to fall in love with the three-point shot. We had another little non-firing mistake here. I apologize. We get our clock fixed. Because that shot does not go. And go the other way with Harvey. Taylor got it back when she lost it. Nearly got the shot to go. The rebound to Wyasket. Wyasket on the baseline. That shoulder. Wyasket got the rebound and makes it a two-point game. How about the Clearfield Falcons? Down 16, now down two. Go inside. Satuala had it. Wyasket got her hands on it. Johnson and Scholler, yep, left her feet, jumped into her. It'll be her second personal foul of the half. That is number four on Scholler. But Clearfield went deep into their bench that first half. They played a lot of players. To come back in is Julia Smith. And Yarbrough knocks that ball out of bounds. Six seventeen. We're probably six eighteen left in the half, uh, third quarter. There's Hoff inbounds, taken away by Wyasket. Johnson on her hip. Wyasket drives, got Johnson off her feet, can't get it to go. Battles for her own rebound, got it. And they'll have a foul on the floor, so wave up the bucket. There is no shot. 
As Clearfield fans, man, they feel the momentum. Dankwa hit that jumper, but it was well after the foul was called. It'll be the second personal foul on Malika Satawala, the second team foul of the third. Yesket inbounds in to De La O. We'll call on that contact up top. Yarbrough lost the handle. Sends it back out. De La O. Back to Yarbrough. Man, this is a tough possession. They can reset and settle down. 20 seconds left in the shot clock. And Coach JT Soder takes a timeout. 548 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Welcome back in to Clearfield. Dusty Litzter with you. Clearfield with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. This has been Sierra De La O with two threes to start the third quarter. Yarbrough popped out. Wyasket could not get it to her. Now does get it to De La O. De La O lost it. Sotawala give it up to Stevenson. Stevenson on the drive. Leaves it for Harvey. 4-3. Taylor Harvey. The junior, Taylor Harvey, been the starter since she was a freshman. Made it to the semifinals as a freshman, then got to the state championship and won it last year as a sophomore. Denkwa was up top. Oh, it was a tough pass there from Wyasket. Got through and out of bounds. And now Bountiful with a chance to get a stop. To put up points on the other end, and that's always the thing, right? Put up a zero on one end, put a crooked number up on the other. RV backs things out. Wants to go with Dankwa. That's a... I feel like that was a tripling violation. Maybe I'm wrong. Stevenson got it. Adelaide. That's a tough shot there by Adelaide Stevenson. I need an official to pop in. I didn't think there was defensive contact in that ball. And Harvey continued to dribble after losing it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm willing to admit I'm wrong if I am. Not when the situations have gone over with an official over. Oh, Danko had the exact same, so there's your answer. De La O with eight points in the third. And the five-point game. Harvey. Got push toward the corner. Ball out of bounds, and that will be Clearfield basketball. Four minutes and five seconds left in the third. As Destiny Gomez and Kearns check in. Full court pressure from Bountiful. Wyasket breaks the pressure. Wyasket sends it to the corner to Kearns. Draws rain on the arc of that shot. Couldn't get it. Oh, loose ball in the hands of Harvey. Wyasket right there with her. Taylor on the drive inside. The foul and one to Smith. Fans will be asking why a foul. The reason for the foul is that Smith's arms were not vertical. Her arms came in. If her arms stay up, that's one thing. When you put a bend on them, that is a foul. It's about verticality, not about not moving. So Taylor Harvey at the line to make it an eight-point game. And she does. So it was once two points, now eight. And Clearfield continue to score. Yarbrough inside to Smith. Smith sends it back out. Three on the way. No. Rebound to Smith. Back out. Wyaskit. Blocked away by Taylor. Harvey leaks out after the block. Has it. Wyaskit on the chase. And Harvey lays it in. Start it with the block, finish it with the lay-in, and the lead is 10. Thrown 10-2 run, as there is a, a 12-2 run. Now a foul, going to put Clearfield at the line. So 
So Julia Smith at the line for two, misses the first. And got the second. Inbound. And now a foul there on Kearns. That is the fifth team foul. Be two free throws to Taylor Harvey. Jayla Kearns picks up the foul. It's five team fouls on Clearfield and three team fouls on Bountiful. And Taylor misses on the first. And splits the pair. Got to get it in, and that's out of bounds off of Bountiful. Thought maybe off the hands of Wyasket, and Wyasket just get away from the officials. De La O check back in. As they do get it into Wyasket. Dan is fouled by Stevenson. It'll be the fourth team foul on Bountiful. It'll be Falcon basketball along the baseline. Into De La O. De La O drives that ball swatted away. No, not swatted away. He says he just lost it. Comes Harvey. Send that ball to the corner to Stevenson. Stevenson on the drive and blocked initially there by Wyasket. Then it was Smith coming over as well. 39 29. And down to Satawala. Malika gets to the baseline, sends it back out. And the three won't go. The rebound initially by Clearfield. Now we'll have a jump ball situation. And dual possession belongs to Bountiful. Inbound into Johnson, hands off Satuala. Satuala inside out. And now back to Satuala. Send it back out to Nelson. Nelson at the horn of the shot clock. No. A nice save there by Satuala in the hands of Stevenson. Stevenson jumping inside the free throw line, won't go. And the board that De La O. Oh, De La O, that would have been her 10th point of the quarter. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession will stay with Clearfield. And Sierra is dialed in. Jump ball on the rebound. Wyasket will inbound. Into De La O. Kearns pump the three, drive the baseline, and throws it away. Pass goes out of bounds. Possession goes to Bountiful. 
Quickly to Nelson in the corner. Nelson. Oh, can't get it to go. She had the first points of the game, if you recall. That shot won't go. Backside rebound, and we have another dual possession. We do. The ball will stay down here with Bountiful. If you recall, it was Malia Nelson. We went a long while without buckets. She had two threes in the first quarter. In my recollection, she's not. Maybe she scored one other bucket since then. Has eight points. As Harvey sends that ball back up top to Nelson. Now sought to Walla will jump it. Wide of the mark of the rebound. Tracked down by Wyaskett. She sends it ahead to De La O. De La O open for three. Too strong. Kearns with the rebound. Goes back up too strong. Sought to Walla with the rebound. And now a foul. It'll be two free throws to Malika. Malika calmly hits the first. Well, they got it down to two to Clearfield. And they quickly jump back up. And they got Bountiful's attention. Now throw by 12. Can they reclaim that fire they had at the end of the half, the beginning of the third? Wyasket down the lane. Contested, couldn't get it. Rebound to Satuwala. And now Wyasket picks up a foul. Mo March at 90 feet down the floor for free throws. That's the frustrating part. You love the effort, and that's what Clearfield is. That's how they got back into the game in the second quarter, which is they continue to put in the effort, 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 effort. And you get some of these fouls like that one. You just want to get out of the quarter. Instead, you're going to put Bountiful to the line with the clock stopped at the free throw line. Sotawala missed the first. Jarbro checks back in for Wyaskett. The Sila Tuakoy checks in. Always fun to hear the football names and basketball. As the free throw is good, a 12 point, or probably 13 point advantage now. For Bountiful. De La O. Had a chance for a two for one. Baseline J to Smith is good. Julia Smith makes it an 11 point game. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock is turned off. Harvey. Try to fit that in to Satawala. Somehow got it to her. Malika couldn't get it. Got her own rebound. Baseline and a charge. <laughs> Off at the foul, Malika Satawala. Third personal foul on Malika. Team foul number five, but we're at the end of the quarter. De La O, oh, no. Rebound in the hands of Nelson. Yarbrough with the steal. Shot at the horn. Too strong. And that will do it for the third quarter. We go to the fourth. Bountiful leads Clearfield. 42 to 31. You're watching. KSL Sports Rewind. Game of the week. It's start of the fourth quarter. Dusty Lister with you. Rewind Sports Network presented by Heidemann and Associates. Go to Utah.law. Get a free consultation. Find a law office nearest you. Go to Heidemann and Associates, a flat free law firm. And let them know. Rewind Central again. Get that consultation. If you can't get to one of the locations, you could do the call. You could do the consultation virtually. Kearns goes at Harvey, and Harvey with the block. Talk about Harvey, outstanding volleyball player, her sister playing volleyball at Stanford.
Wyasked into Kearns. High arching three, won't go. Yarborough with the offensive rebound. Zaya, drop it inside to Smith. Back to Zaya. Zaya drives it soft to Wallace, sends out to Kearns. Kearns on the drive, folded up, no. Rebound to Harvey. Harvey on the other end, no. Wyasked right there with her, knocked the ball loose. Then that ball out of bounds. And it'll stay with Bountiful. Taylor Harvey off the inbound. Extends the Bountiful lead to 13. Kearns over to Yarborough. Zaya drives this out to Wallop. A little deep there, and Kern steals the outlet. Wyaskit drives right to the rim and scores. The Arborough with the steal, but Satawala got it back, and now we have a reach in foul. They remember the. Foul, team fouls reset at the end of quarters. Got that in to Nelson. Fit that down low, half and blocked away by Smith. Julius Smith with the roof. And it'll be bountiful ball on the baseline. And a Larson checks in as they lob into Harvey. And that's a tough one. And Harvey will go to the line to shoot two. Didn't quite pick up where the arms were and stuff there for Smith. The Mr. Fischl's right there as Harvey knocks down the first. A lot of it is the foul gets away of a of a potential stop and a chance to make this game better. We don't cheer for teams, only cheer for games. And it's a lot more fun to call the game when it was down to a two-point game than where it is at a 13-point game. Stay a little sharper as the game is better. Smith hands off Yarborough. Yarborough driving it, Satuwala, and scores. Nice take and finish there by Zaya Yarborough. Nelson breaks the press on the dribble. No. Rebound and put back. No. The board taken by De La O. Could be five on four. Yarborough pulls up long. Rebound to Kearns. Blocked away by Harvey. And now we'll have the stoppage. We have an injured player on the other end of the floor as Malia Nelson turned her ankle on that drive. So coming in is Anna Larson. Or probably Adelaide Stevenson coming in. Dankwa comes in for Smith. Satawala on the drive. Yarborough. We didn't call a foul. They are to get her from behind. Third team foul. They have one to give. Stevenson from the corner. No. A rebound. And then we have a loose ball foul on the board. And that is going to Wyasket. Number four on Wyasket. Inbound to Satawala. 
Malika can't get that one. Got the rebound. Kiss it off the window. And Malika Satawala extends the lead back to 13. Wyasked on the drive. Sends it back out. Dankwa. Dankwa can't get it to go. Be two free throws to Amber Dankwa. Number four on Johnson. Oh, Denko misses the first. Is Bo Hoff comes on for Bountiful, and then checking in is Gretchen Higley. First time for Higley to come on the floor tonight. Gets a good ovation from the student section. Denkwa goes 0 for 2 from the stripe and the rebound taken by Harvey. Carrying violation there on Taylor. There's Yarbrough on the drive. of Satawala couldn't finish it. Rebound to Harvey. Harvey quickly ahead. Let's save back in. Stevenson did get it. Satawala goes down the lane. Call it on the floor first. That'll be the 15 foul. It'll be two free throws. Foul goes to Sierra De La O. So it'll be Satawala back at the line to shoot two. And Malika hits the first. Where did that come off? Oh, for two. 48-35. Yarbrough to the corner to Denkwa. Denkwa drives out Harvey. Got her off her feet. Blocked away, but they got her foul. It'll be Denkwa going back to the line. First personal foul on Taylor Harvey. Dinkwa misses the first. Frustrated herself on the miss. She'll have one more. Goes 0 for 2. As Dinkwa came away with the loose ball. And they go jump ball. And the ball go to Bountiful. Remember, on the floor, they can go from hip to hip. As Yarbrough picks up the personal foul, going to put Satawala back to the line. Malika back to the line. This is on the first. And got the second. Higley tried to send that ball inside of Dankwa, turns it over. As Wyasket comes back on for Gretchen Higley. Yeah, 
Scott shot in violation. We're getting a little sloppy down the stretch for this one. The rhythm we had at one point, we kiss it goodbye. Has, has this gotten super choppy? And now a timeout granted to Clearfield. Timeout on the floor, 4.10 left. We'll be right back. You're watching a rewind game of the week. Well, welcome into a little bit of Enter Sandman at Clearfield. Four minutes, nine seconds left in this one. 14 point advantage for Bountiful is Clearfield basketball. De La O, no. Come Satawala, Malika can't get that one. Then the ball was hit by Harvey. Got it back to De La O, now she hits the deck and we'll have a foul. I don't know anybody could complain about a foul call there. I just, I'm not a parent though. I don't have an emotional invested interest in the, this game other than I talked about earlier, just want to get close. But then again, we're entering, a, well, we're now in a season where you'll say, I can't believe anyone would be bugged by this, that, or the other. And for the next nine months, this is the most, the worst months of the year, the very four years. That shot won't go by Kearns, that ball out of bounds. Nearly saved by Wyskett. Ball does go out of bounds. Down the ball. As Stevenson brings it up the front court. Satawala had it slapped away, sends it back out. Stevenson now in the corner, three on the way and short by Larson. And a rebound and run out by Clearfield. Saltawala with the interception. I don't know how that's an offensive foul. <laughs> we are not in Region 1. That is what I call a Region 1 special. I don't know how that's an offensive foul. The defender left her feet, was not vertical. To steal lines from all of the reviews you see did not meet all the requirements that I understand of a charge as Satwala founds out. So a 14-point game is De La O to Wyaskett. Wyaskett down to Har or probably to Kearns, and Kearns able to score. And it's down to a 12-point game. Harvey to Stevenson. Maybe for Bountiful not have to be in a hurry offensively. You can use the shot clock to their advantage. Stevenson and now a foul to Yarborough. And that's kind of the things there for Clearfield is know the situation. You got the shot clock winding down at 12 seconds. Just be smart. Just keep it in front of you. Force them to shoot a deep ball. Instead, Bell out with the foul. Going to be two free throws. As Adelaide Stevenson at the line hits the first. Boys game coming up next. We will not have that game. As Gus Sopena in his first year, the head man taking over from Mike Maxwell. As they go one of two from the free throw line. Johnson got the rebound. Couldn't make it. And the rebound and run out now with Clearfield. Wyaskett. Now Dankwa goes in to Stevenson, gets the foul call, put Dankwa at the line. It'll be a two shot foul here for Dankwa. Amber hits the first. And the second good as well. Got that into Adelaide Stevenson. 
De La O right there with her. And now we'll have a timeout taken by Coach Burton. 2.16 left. We'll be right back. Final two minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. As Taylor Harvey drives the lane, she floats it up and scores it. So smooth as an athlete. Taylor Harvey. Oh, they threw that one out. Threw it out. No one there. Stevenson picks up the loose ball, comes back the other way, and Adelaide. What a finish by Adelaide Stevenson. Thought it'd be an and one. Did not get the foul call, but that was a beautiful finish. I believe it was 28-26 as Denkwa fouled and won. Was that right, 28-26? And then from that point, I mean, 26-16. And the free throw good there from Denkwa. And a timeout to Coach Soder. Right back. 11 point ball game. Both teams in the bonus. Clearfield has one timeout left. Battlefield has two as Harvey gets inside. No. Loose ball taken by Johnson. And May had that poked away by Denkwa. Here comes Yarbrough. Yarbrough into the defender and a charge. Good job of getting in there, Hoff. I'm not going to offer a lot. I think it's more of a player control than anything else. So Yarbrough fouls out. Is checking in as Brighton Bernards. Is Harvey will bring the ball in the front court. And now... Clearfield going to give up the foul. Going to put Taylor Harvey at the line. Harvey misses the first. And misses them both. Rebound to Clearfield. Come back the other way. Wyeth Skett sends that out to Kearns. Drives and scores. Timeout taken by Coach Soder. 51 seconds left. We'll be right back. As there's a foul going to put Bountiful back at the line. I know the fouls wanted a traveling violation. Well, there was a attempted at fouls about four different times before. Throw sort of a bit of traveling violation there for Adelaide Stevenson. When your coach is yelling foul, 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 the official's right there. And they are fouling her. She's going to travel at one point. As Stevenson makes the first. One day I'll be a dad in the stands. Maybe I'll have a different perspective, but... At the moment, I get for parents' frustration. As the free throw, no good. Dinkwa has it. Ten-point ball game. No timeouts. A way to stop the clock for Clearfield. Clock will not stop on a made bucket. There's Dinkwa. Going to drive. Can't get that one to go. Why a skit, man? She is feisty. Got that ball out of there. And then she's fouled by Bountiful. We're going to put her at the line for two free throws. Izzy. 
Izzy Wyaskett goes to the line. Hits the first. She does have one more. Oh, I missed the bucket. So 55-46. And now 47. 25 seconds left. And now the foul going to put Isabeau Huff at the line for two. De La O picks up the foul. That's number four on De La O. That's the hard part right now is that the math doesn't line up. 20 seconds, five seconds to inbound the ball before a violation. You can hit a three, make it a five-point game. They've got five seconds. So 21 seconds, you get it down, put the shot up around 16 seconds. Best case scenario. You're not getting the inbound count till around seven seconds. Can't save that one in. Nice effort by Bernards. So Bountiful got tested here tonight by Clearfield. They're going to improve to 5-0 and in region play. And Clearfield is going to continue to foul. Hearing a dad below me yelling for fouls. Again, the math doesn't work. I'm not a math guy, but the math doesn't math. Not when the clock doesn't stop on a made basket. A lot of good things for Clearfield to take from this game. Down 16. Their effort got them back into the game to get it down to two. And, you just, and for Bountiful, I mean, someone like Harvey and Satawala, both of them, just really hard to make up the difference. That talent level of those two, is that a spot that their height, strength, and length just makes it very difficult in the matchup. And a 30-second timeout. Reminds me, helps me remind you of what we got coming up. A big schedule on Friday. We'll have the doubleheader, American Fork and Lone Peak. I will be at that Lone Peak doubleheader. Lehigh at Sky Ridge. Cooper Lewis, his first game at Sky Ridge. Big rivalry, both schools in Lehigh. Cooper Lewis had 47 points in the region opener against American Fork and a 10-point win for the Lehigh Pioneers, if you have not seen them play, they're an absolute blast. Syracuse at Davis, that game was always interesting. Brian at Alta. Alta's been rolling. It'll continue to probably roll. Corner Canyon to Copper Hills. We'll see if Brody Koslowski plays in that one. Um, I, my source says, it told me that he'd be back early part of region play. They were just taking their time. No need to rush him back, especially with the RPI and everything else. If there wasn't any reason to try to hurry and get him back on the floor after his broken clavicle before the season started. Clock would not fire on our end. Come back. It is Dankwell. Long on the three. Rebound to Harvey. And that will do it. Bountiful. Going to improve to 5-0 and in region play. Clearfield. Valiant effort. They fall to 11-2 on the year. 4-1 and in region play. Your players of the game. Your Heidemann Associates player of the game. We're going to go with Malika Satawala. Satawala was absolutely spectacular before she fouled out. And uh, for Clearfield, Sierra De La O. We're going with Wyanskid as well for her efforts. But that is uh, your players of the game. Again, for our final score, Bountiful 46, Clearfield 47. For Vince Francis, I'm Dusty Litster. Thanks for joining us and for watching. Uh, KSL Sports Rewind, game of the week on kslsports.com, presented by Heidemann and Associates.